myself, you know Went through every number on my telephone I thought that all I needed was the one to hold But I was wrong What's up guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas day 13. I did dye my hair. It is a nice dark purple. I'll show you guys in a minute. It is 9.21 a.m. right now and we have to import some footage because I just filmed a video that has to go up at some point today. It was my worst clients ever. So I'm so excited for that. But yeah, so it's Sunday right now and I mentioned it in the worst clients video, which is gonna be yesterday's video. So you'll already have seen that, it's so confusing. But basically, I didn't post a video yesterday. I was just really not in a good mood. I didn't have a video already done because then I would have just posted that, but I had to film, edit, and post a video all in one day yesterday. And I was trying to push it all day with filming and I was just really not feeling it. And I was like, I just can't do it. So what I decided is I am going to post two videos in one day coming up to make up for it. I'll probably insert the footage. I was so grumpy. We were just having issues trying to create Terrain Harlow and it was just a mess of a day. Let me just insert the footage of what I have from yesterday and doing my hair and then I got my nails done finally and after I got my nails done I was like I'm gonna take back the day. This video is gonna be about how to turn yourself around from a bad mood. Got McDonald's, came home, took a nap, expecting to wake up like feeling great and I was still pissed. So I was like okay this is not a good day. We have a very needy doggy today. Just wants to be held. I beg you're getting. But when I put her down, she begs to be picked back up. Okay. Say. Say. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. We're gonna have to work on your separation anxiety. We have to dye my hair. How are we gonna do that if I can't put you down? Grumpy. It's been a rough morning, huh? Not listening very well. I don't usually let the dogs back here with me. Oh my goodness, I can't pick you up. Oh, I really just did not in the mood today. All right, so we're gonna dye my hair. So let's see what we have. We have 20 volumes in my roots. I kind of want to make it more like a darker purple, like how I feel like it looks in pictures. I like this one. So I have. 5566 five, by Wella, and I remember I liked the test strand. It was darker, more purpley. So 60 millimeters developer, and then I'm gonna do the whole tube of this for a one-to-one -one ratio, and then whatever's left in the bowl after I'm done with my roots, I'll just dilute with some distilled water, and then I'll put that over the rest of my hair. All right, so I turned the lights on so I could see, so it's like super oversaturated in here, and here you could see like how light my roots look when they grow out. I've had the extensions in now since September, so it's been three months. I think it's been like a week since I washed my hair, so it's looking a little greasy. And I lost a couple, I don't know if you could say, but I really like to brush it out, so I lost a couple. So I texted my friend Tori yesterday, because I want to see, it doesn't look too bad, but I would like to maybe cut it a little bit. As you lose some, it could obviously make it look more obvious that you have extensions, because there's less extensions to blend. So, I don't want to get them out yet. I'm gonna have to assume, but I'm hoping not to until like maybe January, so maybe another month.
super dark but it's nice and like, purpley wish i had time to dry it a little bit but it is what it is the only thing i'm really worried about is that i'm getting my nails done and i want them to turn purple maybe i'll get a dark color yeah i think that's what i'll do i always get creams and whites and then i complain when they turn colors we are home i don't know it's just something about the crate makes her so needy after you take her out of the crate no matter how long it is she like will not do anything and just like clung at your legs for you to pick her up and hold her like this <laughs> it's so funny because at some things she's so much easier than beasley was but then on other things she's so much harder who wants to sit on the couch with me Yeah, so it's 9.25 a.m. right now. It's Beasley's fourth birthday today. And I know I told you guys I was having my two friends over for brunch, but I don't know. I was thinking about it and I haven't gone out to eat in a really long time, especially me and Vinny because we got Harlow and it's just been craziness. So we haven't gone out to eat in a really long time. I asked my two friends if they wanted to maybe just go out for brunch somewhere around here because we might not have a chance to in a while. Then after that, we'll come back here, maybe have some bellinis and just see the puppy and just kind of hang out here for a little bit. We tried watching Big Sky and at first I really liked it, but I'm not really obsessed with it. I just don't think I love ABC shows, but a lot of you told me to watch The Flight Attendant and it is so good. Like we're only like in the second episode, but I'm obsessed with it. It gives me like, Desperate Housewives vibes, which I love, but Finney also likes it too, so it's so good. So I can't wait to watch that later. And then I think tonight, maybe I'll make some chicken cutlets. Oh my God, yesterday, I also made this like cornbread jalapeno waffle nonsense, and it was so good. Of course, in true Abby form, I'm so bad at filming when friends are here. It wasn't even breakfast. We thought we had, they had a brunch menu, and they honestly didn't, so we just had tacos. I showed them my favorite coffee shop, and they were obsessed. And what did I get today? It was so good. It was an iced coffee with Cinnabon. I ordered a power washer and we are going to power wash the crap out of this disgusting deck. We are going to power wash the cushions, put some stuff in the shed, power wash the rug, put it away. My little setup. It's so hard to keep white wood clean, which I, I knew. And we're just gonna like restore the deck. We were even talking about putting up more string lights. I don't know if we're gonna do that or if we're gonna just like wait until next year. We'll see, I don't know how to fix this. Vinny's the fire master, not me. He's the one that made this one. Yes. It's so nice out if you're wondering why I'm in a tank top. Oh my god, I did it. It is gorgeous out. It's like 60 degrees. Hello? What happened? I left my bag back here. Oh yeah, come in the back. I'm gonna set up camp right there. It's such a mess back here. We have bags of leaves and just chill out. So proud I get the fire back going by myself. Video is uploaded. Well, it's not uploaded, but it's processing. So I just have to do the thumbnail and it'll be going up. Look how pretty. Oh my god, it looks so nice. So I changed back into sweatpants and I just cleaned up a little bit. So I deep cleaned the other day, like you guys know from the video. So I want to try and keep it clean. Honestly, it's really just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that screws me because if I go to bed with it a little messy each night, it just goes up and up and up. So I really want to see if I can make it through the week without making it messy. And Vinny, the most important dust ever for him is Wednesday. So I'm like trying to just take care of it all now while I have the time. I literally think I'm bringing Harlow to work on Wednesday because that's how crazy it's going to be. I really don't mind the winter. Like I don't. Of course by March I start to mind it, but I really do not mind like the cold and the dark But when days are as nice as they are today now It's dark and like the lighting and the warmth is gone. It makes me sad But we are going to make chicken cuts for dinner because that is actually one of the only things that I Haven't mastered. I like to pride myself for a non-italian being very good at making Italian food And my issue is that I'll do it and then when it's in the frying pan It will like unstick like the breading and then it's just gross so I read that what will help is to put the breaded cutlets on a plate and let them sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. I was like, that actually sounds really smart. So we're gonna do that. So this is what the recipe says that we need. So we got some chicken breast that I'm going to pound into thin ones. 
flour, breadcrumbs. We have vegetable oil and also olive oil. It's not pictured. Parmesan, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, and pepper. We're going to whisk up some flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs to coat. We just have some regular all-purpose flour, egg, and we just need to make a little breadcrumb mixture. So, it wants, I don't measure. You guys know. Lots of breadcrumbs, some cheese, oregano. Oh, too much salt. Italian seasoning. Shake it up. Now we're just gonna make some chicken cutlets, which I've done a million times. I just never tried the fridge. Sometimes it really feels like I lose control. Honestly, I can't even find my hole. Cause when you see light, I tend to fade. But city lights in your space, and I don't think I'm ever gonna get. potatoes now more times than I can count and nothing beats instant mashed potatoes I grew up on this and it just is delicious okay I kind of messed up because it said to heat up the water first and then add it and I didn't and it's still really really good so we're gonna eat watch the flight attendant then we'll take the night from there it's only like 6 47 right now oh and I kind of had the idea of putting chipotle pepper adobo sauce on my chicken because I had it yesterday and it was delish like I'm addicted I am so so excited right now. They came out perfect. I like cut them to make sure that they were cooked in the middle and like this is amazing. And Vinny tried it is and not to brag, but he said they were the best chicken cutlets he ever had. Some chipotle pepper on the side. Reminds me of a meal I would have when I was little, like chicken cutlets and mashed potatoes. So good. Actually have leftovers for once in my life. Oh boy. I got a puppy on my shoulder. Come on, go sit. <laughs> sit, sit. <laughs> Run ragged. Run ragged. That's yours. That's pretty cool. I know. Oh, she's the birthday girl. This is yours. I knew she'd like the dog. Happy birthday, honey. You. No. Leave her alone. Good girl, Beasley. Harlow wants to get it. Look at her. Good girl, honey. Happy birthday, baby. Vinny just went to CVS because I want heavy cream for a cocktail. So he's gonna get me that. So I'm thinking feed the dogs, take them out, do the dishes, take off my makeup, then make a cocktail. What you think? What you think? Let me show you guys how to feed them. Oh, I pick her up so she doesn't bug her sister when she eats and she's getting a little heavy. Just easier because. She'll just bother me when she eats. Use it. I made a decision. I'm going to try not going to sleep until the house is clean. Dishes. Everything picked up. I always just feel so much better if it's picked up, so I want to try doing that. Let's get on ready for bed. So I was just saying to Vinny how I want to start doing a couple other things, like for productivity reasons. I'm using the Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover, which I love. I'm running so low, I need to get more. One, like I said, every single night I want to go to bed with the house clean, because if you do that, it's scientifically impossible for things to back up. Two, which I've already been doing, make sure I keep making it a point, keep editing at work. I get so much more done than I ever thought I'd be able to at work, because I'm constantly running around like crazy, but I'm always able to get like most of it done at work where I barely have to do anything at home, which is so important. I don't even know how I thought I was going to do vlogmas if I wasn't editing at work, to be honest. The three is just kind of getting into more routine. I feel like I kind of go to bed whenever and wake up whenever, but like 9 a.m. rushing for work. And it's funny because I used to wake up for work at like 7.30 a.m. and I was like, oh my God, 
If I start work at 10, I'm literally going to like wake up at 7.30 and I'm gonna be so productive. And I was just saying to Vinny and he totally agreed, like the later that you start work, the later that you'll wake up for it. Like you think you're gonna wake up early and like be so productive and you just really don't, like it doesn't work like that. So every single night I'm gonna go to bed by midnight or be in bed by midnight and every single morning I'm gonna wake up at 8 a.m. Which I think is more than doable. You literally just wake up at like 6 a.m. every morning. Just changed quickly into my favorite crew neck. That's actually Vinny's and I built sauce on it and I sprayed bleach on it knowing that it was gonna take up the color because I just have to re-dye dye it. That's why I freaking love wearing my tie dye is I can just re-dye it whenever I want, which is great. Makeup is off. Let's do some uh, Kiehl's facial cream. Hello. And the last thing I think, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but the last thing, is to put my phone on the other side of the room. So that way when my alarm goes off, I have to get up and go turn it off and can't just like set a new one for like right before I have to leave. Cause I always do that. Vinny, when he's ready to go sleep, he'll take his phone and put it on the floor. I'm the type of person that falls asleep on my phone. Like it's insane. Like I'll fall asleep like reading a really random Twitter thread like it's so bad then i'll be forced to like get up i've been going to sleep with a nice clean house and getting on like a stricter sleeping and waking up schedule scheduling myself some time to like relax in the morning forcing myself to get up and out of the bed in the morning i don't know i think it's gonna be really good we are done here hi sweetie muffin who wants to go potty come on does anyone else put their husband's shoes on to leave for tonight Christmas cocktail. We are making a chai white Russian, I think it's called. I never tried this and I always assumed that it was literally just like milk and vodka, but it's actually like, it's supposed to be Kahlua, but I have Baileys, y'all know this. So like vodka, Baileys, and actually like chai bags, but I only have spice chai, but I feel like if anything, that'll be better. Along with some cinnamon sticks, which I have, and these cute little stars that are like super festive looking. I actually ordered a little milk frother on Amazon like one of the handheld ones like Tara Michelle has, and that would be super helpful today, but we don't have that today. With my own measurements, I'm doing only this much vodka, which is like a shot. Then I'm doing a little bit over that, maybe like a full thing of Bailey's, some spiced chai, and it wants me to use heavy cream. We don't have heavy cream, so I think I'm gonna do, I might just try it like this first. I was gonna add um, broth half and half. I might just try this. Well, Vinny wants to try it because Vinny wants one, but he doesn't like creamy drinks, so I want him to try it before I make him one and then he doesn't drink it. That's for you. I'm surprised that you liked it. Beautiful. So I have cinnamon sticks and the little, I think they're called like star. I don't know what they're called, but Vinny's over there. He's like, do you eat cinnamon sticks? I'm like, probably not. And then I look over, he's so mad. And he's just chewing on something. And I hear the chewing and I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna ask. And he goes, what's this? What's this chocolate thing? That's not chocolate. And I'm like, did you eat the star in your ass? And he was like, my mouth, it, uh, my mouth tastes like a corporate bathroom smells. <laughs> I feel so bad, but I thought you knew everything was just for know, garbage. Quality. These sweet babies, there's sweet baby number one. Sweet baby number three over here. Oh, he's a cutie. All right, so anyway, this is Trader Joe's, the advent calendar the cocktail hour i meant to start doing this when it was like the first of december like a cute thing and i forgot and i always forget and then i have three days of chocolates to eat and apparently there's like like it doesn't taste like there's alcohol in them and i got id'd for this i've definitely eaten something have you had this issue before have you I eaten didn't this think so until i ate it that's like bringing back some memory <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Beasley just went upstairs because she puts herself to bed sometimes. But I was just realizing that I didn't post a picture with Beasley for her birthday. So I wanted to show some of the cute pictures of her that I found and spammed everyone on Instagram with. That was the first picture we ever had of her. That was right before we got engaged, right before we moved out into our first apartment. Literally just little babies. So 
we were so funny for this one, cause Corona. The amount of pictures they have holding her like that. Been sitting here, like I said, Beasley put herself up to bed. She is passed out on Vinny. She's so cute. But we're watching the flight attendant, and it's 11:30. So, like I said, I'm starting a new routine of going to bed, going to sleep with the house clean, and also going to sleep at midnight and waking up at 8 a.m. So, I will see you tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds bling, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds playing, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bed?